Hi everybody, my name's Michelle and welcome to my channel Sewing Bunny. In today's video I wanted to share with you some of my uh, possible plans um, over March. Um, I've got quite a few kind of random ideas going through my head of what patterns to use, what fabrics to use and I just thought it might be a good idea to, uh, to maybe share with you some of, some of the ideas that I might be planning on doing in March and uh, maybe get some, uh, some feedback and uh, maybe see what you guys think. Um, and also just to say, anyone who saw my last video, thank you so much for all the really nice comments about my poll performance. I really, really appreciate it. It's so heartwarming when people made such nice comments. Okay, so uh, if I start off with what I'm wearing, this is um, a lovely koala um, fabric. I think I got this from eBay or something. I can't, I can't remember, it was ages ago. This was one of the first t-shirts I think I ever made, I think. And um, it is the Dolores Batwing top um, by Sozo, and you can see it's kind of a um, like a basic top with kind of a, a, with a with a kind of sleeve that's on part of the grown on part. Yeah, so um, yeah, wearing that, and also I'm wearing um, some Hudson pants um, because I'm in full slouch mode today. <laughs> uh, Stuart, my other half, is out uh, watching a football match, and um, I've got the house to myself, so I thought maybe go do some sewing plans, record a vlog. So I'm in full coziness today. All right, so um, on to my plans for March. Um, I started to cut out um, a pattern which is the I Am Joy pattern. Oh my God, that's some real reflection going on there. Uh, I think that's there. <laughs> and um, I cut this out probably a couple of weeks back and it's just been sat on my table, kind of not being done. So um, I'd really like to get this finished. And it's in this lovely viscose fabric. This is just a piece of the, this is the back piece, I think, yeah. Um, and it's in this lovely viscose. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful colours. And um, I got this from Minerva Crafts. And um, yeah, I just really like the colours of that. And this particular pattern, um, I've got a ready to wear top that's very, very similar. And I wear it to work all the time. And so I thought it'd be a really good idea to kind of make one up for myself, you know, I can say I've made. And um, I think this would be absolutely lovely, like this colouring and everything to wear to work as a nice little shirt. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get that finished. As I say, I've got it all cut out, so just need to whack it on the sewing machine and get going and then uh, yeah, it should be done. Okay, and then the next plan, you might have had a sneaky peek from my previous video, is I want to make the uh, Tilly and the Buttons Juno pyjamas. And this is from um, her recent book, uh, Make It Simple. And um, so the Juno pyjamas, it's basically the uh, Tabitha t-shirt pattern. And then the Juno pyjamas are the, obviously the, the, the bottom section. So um, in theory, it's two makes, but, uh, but one set. And um, yeah, I really, really, really wanted to make it in um, some cat print fabric, which I saw in the book. Okay, which is um, this um, cat print <laughs> design. And um, as I said in my last video, a, a lovely lady from the sewing community contacted me and told me where to find it. So uh, this is the fabric and it is from My Fabrics. Um, and so yes, we've got the pink background with all these lovely, adorable little cats on there. So I really can't wait to, uh, to make those. And um, to go with that, um, I'm gonna have a plain pink jersey um, that's from my stash, which I think I got from possibly, I think it might have been Stitchy Bee. I think she might have done a remnant. I think I think this is where that was from. So uh, yeah, I thought those two go quite nicely together. So this will be for the cuffs and uh, sorry the yeah the t-shirt cuffs and the ankle cuffs and the neckband. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be really cute. I can't wait to make those. <laughs> Okay, and then next on the possible March planning list <laughs> is something from my Make 9. So I haven't made anything from my Make 9 yet, so I'd really like to get on and do that. And I'd like to do the Sew House 7 toaster sweater. And um, the fabric that I would like to use is this navy cable knit. 
that probably isn't being picked up very well in this light, possibly. Yeah, you might be able to see it there. Um, and uh, I got this, um, when did I get it? Just before Christmas, I think. And this is from Luby Doo. And um, it's a really, really soft um, jersey. I've made a um, sew over it molly dress out of the burgundy colour of this and it's so cosy. So I really wanted to make um, uh, a jumper out of it as well. And I was a bit unsure possibly which variation I wanted to do, but I think I'm gonna go with this version um, because I think this one is for a lighter weight kind of jersey, it's a bit more drapey and I think this one is probably going to be a little bit more suitable and also it does look really nice and cosy there, if I can get the line drawing, there we go. Um, so it's got these lovely cuffs and this bottom cuff as well as this um, kind of like funnel neck so it looks so cosy and um, I recently saw on Instagram um, Nikki from the Stitch Sisters, she posted up a picture of her wearing that version of the toaster sweater with a cable knit. Um, I think it was in the kind of the aqua blue colour um, and it looked so nice on her so I really wanted to, uh, to make that. <laughs> okay and then lastly um, I saw this fabric in my stash and um, I recently got it in the January sales and I just kept looking at it and um, I've got loads of daffodils outside my, uh, my front door and I love daffodils so much. And I kept looking at this fabric because <laughs> it looks like all these little yellow flowers, like little daffodils. And it just made me feel really spring-like and I just wanted something that wasn't necessarily feeling very wintry, like kind of warm and snuggly. I wanted something a little bit more kind of spring and happy. <laughs> so I really wanted to use this fabric. And um, I was going through some of my patterns and I haven't actually made um, this one yet, which is the Sew Over It uh, Silk Cami. And I got this out of a uh, sewing magazine that came free. Um, sorry, the pattern came free with the sewing magazine. And um, yeah, I thought that would be quite a nice little top to wear um, because I could wear it to work as well. I think even though it's kind of, you know, very kind of summery, I think that'd be really nice with a cardigan, maybe like a grey cardigan over the top and I could wear that with my work trousers. And I think that would be really, really nice. Um, I've heard mixed things about the silk cami. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I will certainly try it. Um, it does have on here uh, instructions on how to do French seams. And I've never done French seams before, so I thought maybe give that a go, can learn a new skill. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's quite relaxed fit and everything. So I'm thinking I can either wear it kind of loosely over trousers, maybe kind of just, you know, casually, or maybe for work, I could maybe tuck it in. It might look a little bit more smart then. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really nice in the picture and I love that fabric. So um, yeah, let's see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, so that was all my possible March sewing plans. As we all know, uh, with sewing, sticking to a list doesn't always work. I mean, that's my ideas now. It may change, a new pattern might come out, I might spot another fabric, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what I'm hopefully planning to make in March. Um, I'd really appreciate uh, hearing about anything that you're planning to make in March. Is there anything that you've got your eye on or any new patterns or a fabric in your stash that you're desperate to use up? I'd love to hear about it and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!